Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch and on this absolutely miserable day, 1st of November 2022, we are doing a quick walk around video. Apologies for the noise, that's the uh, A38 South Devon Expressway thundering past us in rush hour, it's quite late in the day, but we are doing a quick walk around video on this absolutely brilliantly named DirtyWeekender.com a Citroen Relay Conversion. Now, DirtyWeekender.com, they are a, um, a very well-reputed um, van conversion company um, who come originally from the motorsport, specifically the motocross world, hence their, uh, their DirtyWeekender.com uh, title, and they do a, a lot of race homes and, and sort of smaller van conversions, and this particular one, based on the 6-metre relay, was their um, sort of initial stab into the wider leisure vehicle market so they're very well thought of very well built uh, this is an unusual van in fairness to it uh, it's one that I bought it's had one private owner who bought it from dirtyweekender.com when it was freshly converted they paid a lot of money for this and there's a, a lot of nice spec and a lot of good quality about it it's a it's a niche layout if it suits you it's really really good I really like this in fairness to it um, but it won't be for everybody let's have a little look at the vital statistics it is getting dark apologies for that so she's a 2018 on an 18 plate Citroen Relay based DirtyWeekend.com. It's a fixed end bed, uh, four seat belts, two berth, three and a half tonne based on the Citroen Relay. This has got the two litre 130 horsepower engine with a six speed manual gearbox. It's only done um, 16,000 miles from memory. We'll check that as we go around. Uh, she's six metres long, 2.05 body width, so uh, just a normal van conversion. I think these are about 2.7, 2.8 high. Priced at 32.95. This is a 2018 van. It's only done 16,000 miles. I think it was converted from new. It might have been on a pre-registered chassis, but it's only been a camper. It's a lovely older couple that had it. They absolutely adored it. They went into Europe with it. Um, and if it suits you, it's a great buy. So white, two-tone wrapped in green, steel wheels, perfectly. Personally, I'd put some wheel trims or probably some alloys on there. I reckon if you sit that on a nice set of alloys, it'll be a real smart looking thing. Um, but beauty's in the eye of the beholder anyway. Uh, so, walking around the outside, it's all in spot on condition. This has only, only done 16, 18,000 miles. So, she's six meters, which is the long wheelbase, not the extra long wheelbase. We've got the stubby little electric um, short arm van wing mirrors. On the outside, we've got a two lay full length Omni Store awning, two lay Omni Store one, uh, with the leg supports there if you're on hard ground. We've got, as we walk around, what's this? Let's have a look, see what this is. This is the fill up point for your gas tank. Yeah, that's your fill up point for your underslung gas tank for running your uh, kit and equipment. We've got onboard fresh water. No wastewater tank on this one because there's actually no sort of toilet and shower. Or it's got a toilet, sorry, but there's no shower on it. So it's kind of like for someone who wants a bigger camper van with a fixed bed and a toilet, but not a shower. So it's unusual. But for me, for one person, I'm not bothered about showering the van. I'd rather have the extra room, um, but I'd like to have a toilet because I like to wild camp a fair bit, but I mix it up on campsites. So for me, this would suit me in fairness to it. So we've got flush flip, flush flip? flush fit um, clear double glazed windows which is really nice all the kit and equipment on this van is top class and it's been really really well done at being what it is up high we've got a high level reversing camera down low we've got four sensor reversing sensor array and then we've got a tow bar which is handy for a bike rack so if you open up the back doors we've got a semi high level fixed bed and uh, we've got two opening windows double glazed on the back with these nice concertina blinds and fly screens same on the other side as well panel works all really sort of properly done this isn't something that's been built by amateurs dirtyweekender.com do serious bits of kit in fairness to it uh, so we've got all of the uh, center tensioning poles and things we've got real good quality proper wood um, bed there and bed support down underneath We've got big storage, so this van doesn't have a wastewater tank, but it comes with the aqua roll there. Big, big storage here. 
Don't know what's in there. But, um, maybe some sides or some fly screens for the awning. And then look at this, a proper draw. Let's zoom out a little bit here. A proper engineered draw, which I bet you need two hands to do. You do. So this is going to get a bit wobbly now, so apologies for that. Move these up. I'm going to have to put the phone down for a second so you can admire the sea dragon on the top there. Apologies for that, there is obviously a knack to getting into this draw, which is really annoying because that is a massive and easy sliding draw which comes out with all your kit in it basically so you can put loads of storage in it. But as far as I can see you need three hands to get into it so you've got to hold both of those two up and pull it at the same time. So there must be a knack which I can't do with a phone or indeed with my two hands but there must be a way of getting these catches to come up. But this whole drawer will come all the way out um, and give you loads of storage there and then storage underneath. If you didn't want that you could take it out and then have bigger storage underneath the bed. The bed's got a really really nice proper mattress on it. So we'll come inside and have a look at it better from the inside. That's them, dirtyweekend.com. Spotless condition wise, another double glazed bedroom window there. On the roof is a solar panel. You've got main hook up, solar panel, set for cassette toilet dump point there. If you want to turn this van into a white van, you can just unwrap it again and have it in all white if you prefer. Cab spec wise, you've got proper Remis concertina blinds and fly screens. You've got 16,372 miles. We've got sat nav, not sat nav, but you've got the uh, sort of touchscreen DAB Bluetooth stereo system, which I don't think is nav by the look of it. I can't see a nav button on there. Air conditioning, cruise control, all the stuff that you'd want. You've got your high level reversing camera monitor up there as well, and twin swivel cab seats in the original good quality black Citroen Relay Enterprise. Um, trim so outside all good apart from my lack of ability to open the drawer which is a bit annoying so opening up the big sliding door we've got a pull across sort of a curtain style fly screen door we've got an extra flip up worktop a generic and very simple and effective uh, control panel there which does your lights your water pump everything like that and your gauges you've got a step for getting in as well a pull out one so, coming inside, it is unusual. It's blue. The outside is half green. Why did they do this? I don't know. But does it matter? No, it doesn't, in fairness to it. So, having a little pirouette around the outside, we've got a double forward facing seat belted seat here that doesn't make a bed. You've got a table that clips onto it. Big mirror here. Look at all the panelling. It's all really properly done, sort of thing. Um, so yeah, fully plasticky, plasticed all the way around. Opening window and a sliding door with blinds and fly screens. Big opening window there again with the concertina blinds and fly screens on this side. Top again is all panelled in plastic with LED lighting all the way around. Same at the front, we've got storage over the cab. Again your swivel cab seats, very practical um, sort of non-slip flooring which is good. We've got some plug sockets down there with a mains and a 12 volt socket. Kitchen wise, solid wood worktop, I say very very nicely done. Two gas burner hob, underneath of that we've got a little grill and then we've got a nice sink there with decent cupboards which again if you can get the knack or put your finger in there pull it out there. Loads of cupboard space underneath of that with the grill pans down there as well. Same in here, all positive locking with non-slip in it. Fridge freezer is a 12 volt isotherm one which is a really good size, full width freezer. Above that, got storage. You've got diesel power blown air heating, small skylight with a uh, with a fan above the kitchen as well there, which somebody has opened. This is, ah, this is <laughs> got an electric van in it. I don't know how to close the skylight. Oh no, there'll be, there'll be a button around there to close the skylight somehow. Is that it? No, that's not it. We're not going to get ourselves soaked again. Uh, that's the control for your Wabasto German diesel power blown air heating system. 
Um, more storage underneath of there for the wardrobe type space so that it's shelved. Then your rear bed is here, which is a really big bed. It's not too high to uh, to get into at all. Uh, really good size there with high level storage cupboards above. I guess you put your head at that end maybe, or the other end, they're both the same in fairness to it. That end's got a rail for you to rail things with. Uh, on the roof, courtesy of the previous owners, is a motif of a Chinese sea dragon, because the uh, lady and gentleman who had this uh, lived for most of their lives in Hong Kong. Uh, they were uh, British expatriates who uh, lived in Hong Kong for many years, and they did tell me the name of this Chinese sea dragon. Uh, if it's integral to you buying the van, I will find out the name of it for you. Um, and then we've got your solid wood table there, your storage cupboard here with your wardrobe. Oh, that's your wardrobe. You've got to pull out hanging rail. Pull up little shelf that you could use for more kitchen workspace, maybe. Um, more storage there. And then your proper uh, Thetford cassette toilet there. Uh, now, this is where it gets a bit strange because that is there it's not closed in so for me as a camper by myself absolutely perfect um if you are not bothered about that it's there all the time if you wanted us to we could probably knock you up some curtain rails or something to close that off a little bit i say it is it's a niche layout but that's why it's 32.95 and this is an 18 plate van with 16,000 miles with a really high quality uh, and, and pretty good spec conversion i mean you don't get this in mass produced stuff this has been hand built um it is, I don't think it's a one-off. I mean, they were they were sort of following on with other ones like this. Um, so it is completely different in fairness to it. It really is. So if it suits you, it's got loads of floor space, no miles, plenty of kit on it. Uh, it's just whether the layout suits. And it is unusual in fairness to it. But if this was a 2018 Adria Twin 600, for instance, which I know has got a, a full sort of shower bathroom thing, that would be fifty thousand pounds. This isn't. It's thirty-two to nine five. It's probably better put together. In fairness to it, um, so it's all down to whether it suits you. But if it suits you, it's a very good buy. And if it doesn't, buy something else that does suit you. In fairness to it, so I kind of like it. It would be perfect for one. It would be ideal for two, as long as you don't mind just budging out the way or you know, somebody's using the toilet or something that's the only weird thing about it it's got a really big bed at the back really good storage underneath so you could remove that drawer if you wanted higher storage it's really comfy and it is exactly what it is sometimes it's nice to have something a little bit different so this is us we are hybrid motorhomes devon um Newton Abbott just off the A38 South Devon Expressway. That's the number to call 01626 832792. If we're out here doing videos of unusual vans with Chinese sea dragons, uh, you can call the mobile 07432 662558. Have a look on the hybridcaravans.co.uk website uh, or just pop in and see us and ask us about the marvellously titled 2018 DirtyWeekender.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye.